as the sun rises over Melbourne, you'll often find Professor David Commander on a kayak. It's just such an amazing way to connect with nature. And you cannot beat the serenity and the beauty of, of sitting on your kayak in the morning. You, sometimes you have dolphins coming up and, you know, you catch a fish. The biochemist and cell biologist started kayak fishing during Melbourne's COVID-19 lockdown and soon realised it helps focus his mind. It does help my work because it gives me that balance and in my, in my mindset that I really need to, you know, com not completely get eaten up by the stress. That stress comes from trying to unravel the mysteries of the ubiquitin system. Ubiquitin is a tiny protein that attaches itself to bigger proteins to modify the way they function or interact within our cells. If you attach one ubiquitin to a protein, that's not so much the big deal. What is a big deal is the idea that ubiquitin can now be attaching to itself and we build what's called ubiquitin chains. The fate of the targeted protein can vary depending on the structure of these chains. And here's why that matters. What we're describing here is a possibility to turn our basic research insights into potential for new drug discovery. The ubiquitin system plays a critical role in a wide range of cellular processes and problems with the system can cause a variety of diseases, including cancer. One function of ubiquitin ensures that broken proteins and damaged organelles such as mitochondria are removed from circulation by flagging them for destruction. When this process malfunctions, obsolete and damaged proteins or mitochondria accumulate, which can cause neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's. Professor Commander has advanced our understanding of that relationship through fundamental research into proteins called Parkin and PINK1. PINK1 is, is a protein called uh, ubiquitin kinase. Kinases have a well-studied function in taking a tiny, tiny chemical tag and attaching a chemical phosphate group to a protein of interest. What was a shock to the entire field of ubiquitin researchers, including myself, was when we and others identified that PINK1 is a kinase that attaches the phosphate group, not to a protein, but actually to ubiquitin as a protein. So now we're talking about the modifications of a modifier. PINK1 modifies the ubiquitin attached to damaged proteins on the outer membrane of mitochondria. Modified ubiquitin attracts parkin, which attaches more ubiquitin to the surrounding proteins. A heavily coated surface initiates the disposal of the entire organelle to nearby proteins, creating a layer of modified ubiquitin that initiates their orderly removal. Importantly, failures in either Parkin or PINK1 cause certain cases of Parkinson's, particularly for people who develop the condition before the age of 50. The race is now on to work out how to activate PINK1 or Parkin to treat the condition. Professor Commander describes that as a perfect example of how fundamental and translational research can work hand in hand and something his team does every day here at WeHi in Melbourne. A critical mission that's now seen him elected a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science. It means, it means everything. I feel so privileged to be part of this learned society.